Hey y'all, it's been a minute. It's Pam again, eating good, and I'm back. If you guys follow me on my IG page or my Facebook, I told you I was gonna be coming in, doing a video, letting you know who I've been in hiatus. This is just a cream soda. I was gonna eat with you guys, but you know, you can't eat and talk with your mouth full. So I decided to have a little drink. And what I'm drinking, oh yeah, you see it? That old salty caramel crown. And you could get any type of cream soda. This is just a great value brand that I picked up. Put my little glass over here. So I'm just gonna have a little, little drinky drink with you while I talk. How y'all doing? What you been up to? How is life? Oh, let me tell you. That's some good stuff right there, y'all. That's some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Fix your drink. I'm not gonna keep you that long. So, I want to say it was May, or it could have been June of last year, the last time I did uh, a video, and I'm going to get right to the point. And first, I'm going to say to everybody out there, men and women, that it's very important that you go and have a colonoscopy. Don't try to correct me, Vicky, April, my best friend, Lil Pam, y'all, if you listen to me, colonoscopy. Um, and, and my husband did not have uh, any problems with his lower uh, colonoscopy, but May of last year, May the 20th to be exact, I found my husband unresponsive, uh, passed out on the floor. He was rushed to the hospital where he underwent an emergency surgery. He had um, a rupture. He was uh, bleeding uh, on the inside. He was in ICU for five days. They had to give him seven pints of blood. But during that time, we were already going, getting prepared to go through chemotherapy. We found out that he had cancer. Um, and that's where it go back to having your colon check. During his, uh, you could say annual uh, colon, he went in for an exam, they did an upper scope. And on the upper scope, that's where they found the cancer. It was lymphoma, malt uh, lymphoma. So we went through six months of chemotherapy. During the time while we were going through the chemotherapy, cancer we had a cat scan and they found cancer on his liver it was his upper uh left liver it was a four centimeter mass four centimeter mass and a biopsy was done on it and it was maligma it was cancer so just four weeks ago um over oh, four weeks ago eight weeks ago january 25th of this year he went in and they removed, uh, they did a renal surgery and they removed that cancer and tests. I can't get into the medical, you know, terminology of it because I don't really know the words and I can't pronounce them because your girl is country, have a drink. But I do know that, uh, it was removed successfully, and he do not have to go through any more radiations or chemotherapy. He's still under doctor's care. By the grace of God, he's doing good. I mean, we we almost lost him, and that that took me out. I couldn't come in and and try to fake it uh, with the funk because we were going every twenty days. We go well, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, he had. Um, chemo and they had to treat it uh aggressively and it was it was it was something that's one of them things when you hear the word cancer it scares you and it rocked our world 
But by the grace of God, with family and friends, I can't thank y'all enough. My brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my sister, let me name them because I got brother-in-laws. Manuel and Eddie has been just, uh, who? My rock to lean on, my sister Vicky, my sister Bridget, my cousin Linda George. I mean, just without even having to have to ask, they just was here doing my friend David and Ashley in Dallas. I can't thank you all enough. I appreciate you so much. My sister, sister love, sister in law, Eddie May. I mean, everybody just stepped up. Uh, my daughter. And the boys, um, my niece, I mean, just stepped up and 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 gave prayer. My friends, uh, and I said I wasn't gonna do this here. Start trying to thank everybody, but uh, my G and Juicy, uh, my best friend April Pam, made like just shoulders to cry on because I had Lisa Ashley. I, I ain't gonna forget you, Queen. I had um, many many a sleepless and crying night and I didn't cry all the time uh, because I didn't know I wasn't trusting God to step in and do just what I knew that he would uh do I would cry and and find myself hurting seeing my husband going through what he was going through but by the grace of God like I said he pulled through uh we had the surgery on the 25th of January we got the results back last week. As I speak to you today, it's his birthday, March the 27th. I don't know when I put this up, but happy birthday, baby. <laughs> you make my inner child smile. <laughs> yes, Lord, you do. Uh, we got everything back, and he's in the clear. We're getting ready to go next week, which would be the 29th, and... Uh, meet with uh his doctor and they're going to be removing uh his port they'll be watching him every two months uh doing blood work and stuff because you know cancer once it is there it could come back but we're not claiming anything he he has defeated it but they will be uh doing blood work and keeping a uh close eye uh on him and that's what eating good been. And I'm just thankful for those who knew uh, my girls. What's up? Kicking it with Lynn. That hood girl. It's Vanjie's world and Jazzy V. I appreciate y'all too for all your prayers and reaching out. My niece, Jazzy V, she just sometime will call me and leave me the sweetest messages or send me a text. I've talked with that hood girl, Lynn. I called Vanjie. I mean, we just been talking and I appreciate you ladies. So that's been it. That's what I've been up to. And I'm going to come back, um, I don't know, in a couple of days, I'm going to try to and do a mukbang, see what's going on, what y'all been doing, what y'all been eating on, baby. I put some pictures up on my Instagram. Eating good, still been eating good. You best believe it. Them old crab legs and lobster tails. I'm getting ready now to eat some uh, fries and chicken. Nothing fancy. There's some stovebout French fries. As a matter of fact, get some stovebout chicken, y'all. And that's what I'm getting ready uh, to eat. But I want to just come in right quick and give that video, give that uh, update. That's what's been going on with me. And once again, like I said, uh, get your get your get your colonoscopy done because had we not. Uh, gotten that colonoscopy the night if we was in the emergency room the doctor said had we not got there the next day he would have fell dead just out of just fell dead just like that because he was he had a also to rupture and he was uh bleeding eternally at a fast pace and it was it was very serious i don't know if you know when we start to almost like they said we get ready to cross over stuff shut down his veins had uh collapse he was uh dehydrated blood pressure was uh low and dropping but we called on jesus somebody said amen amen and amen again on the real on the real we called on jesus and he pulled him through and i'm forever grateful forever thankful 
and you don't know what people be going through. And I went to work and I, 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 I tried to keep positive and, and tried to work, but I was going through a lot. And, and I know it was just the grace of God who, who sustained me and kept me moving and kept me pushing. Not one doctor visit did I miss. Not one chemotherapy session did I miss. If he had to sit up there six hours a day going through with chemo, guess what? I was right across from him, reaching out, touching him, talking to him, keeping him upbeat. He stays so positive. He's such a wonderful spirit. He really is. And I'm not going to talk too much and give him the big head, but he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. And that's about all I got you all, but... Stay on top of it. Get your colonoscopy. I'm the T. Keller talking to the pot because I got to make me an appointment to uh, get me one uh, done. But like I was fixing to say, had we not did that, we wouldn't have known. And just by him going through them uh, doing a PET scan and, and CAT scans, and that's how they found the um, cancer on his kidney, which the two was not related. The lymphoma that he had on his upper intestine and his stomach it had nothing to do with the tumor that they found on his upper left kidney it was totally uh something different but that was a silence killer had we not found that and it was spread it would have got outside it was maintained inside thank god for jesus he <laughs> yes. And they were able to uh, go in and remove it. And I appreciate it. And in another video, when I come back and I eat and I talk with y'all, I'm going to shout out some of his doctors and let y'all know uh, who he was under the great care of. Just everybody was just wonderful, took real good care of him, real reassuring to us. Even though it seemed gloomy, they just saw the sunlight at the end of the tunnel before I could start to see the tunnel the sunlight at the end of the tunnel and my brother-in-law Reverend Manuel Henderson he kept us prayed up he kept positive thought we knew that it was in God's hand and we was going to praise him regardless of the outcome but I thank you Jesus for having mercy and grace upon this situation and with that being said y'all I done went over the 10 minutes I was going to say but uh stay and talk get this in your life y'all this here, yeah, I'm finna refill. Bartender, I'm finna refill this here drink. Mm. I'm trying to see what it tastes like. What do it put you in the mind of? Something caramel like. The salted caramel in this cream soda is. It's it's a it's a candy butterscotch. Mm-hmm. Get you some, it's good. Y'all just eating good. I'm out of here. Peace, love, and hair grease. Blue magic that is. Be good, people. Bye now.